Hey everyone, this is Andrew's Movie Corner back at the once again for part 9 of my Disney VHS collection, the 2020 edition. Where I last left off was with the 2002 reprint of Robin Hood. And I'm moving on from there. Moving on with the 2001 VHS of Roly Poly Oli, A Jingle Jangle Holiday. Got this one back in 2017. Had another copy, but it was moldy. So I got this one now. And here's the side character file of Oli and Zoe. The back says, based on the best-selling books by acclaimed children's author and illustrator William Joyce, it's Roly Poly Oli. Mm -hmm. And here's the tape. So the ink label needs to get rewound. Hasn't been put in my VCR since 2017. The print date's October 4th, 2001. And, yep, got another Roly Poly Oli tape I'm going to show. We have the 2002 VHS of Roly Poly Oli, The Great Defender of Fun. It's an all-new full-length movie. This was the first Roly Poly Oli tape I got for my collection. Yep, it's a side cut file of Oli. And the back, and it says, Smart and Whimsical, Fun for the Whole Family. It says, Leslie Mulgrave of Pure Oxygen. I had another copy of this when I was a kid, and that one broke. Only did us good for about almost nine years. It broke. Now we have this one. This one's a better copy. It is a little damaged, but still works. So tape, the ink label, and the blue lid. Print dates are April 20th, 2002 and July 10th, 2002. Yep, those are the two print dates on this tape. And moving on with the 2003 VHS of Rolly Poly Oli, the Baby Bot Chase. It's a brand new full length movie. I got this tape back in 2017, September of that year. It's the side of the two baby bots. In the back, it says, A joy ride that explodes with color and animation, says Bruce Klugger of Parenting Magazine. Yep, this was one of my World Poly really was a childhood favorite of mine. And I have, that's why I bought some for my collection. So, tape the ink label. And the blue lid. The print date is. All right, get see if I can get my camera to focus. Oh yeah, yeah, May fifteenth, two thousand three. Yep. That's... And the next tape we're gonna show. This is the two thousand gold classic collection VHS of Salados Amigos. I actually got this tape back in two thousand fourteen. I've had it for. Almost six years now. It's a celebration of magic, music, and adventure. It's a side character of Goofy. And the back. So no critic view. But special bonus feature. Be sent on the border with Walt with Disney. Travelogue featuring Walt and his team of animators exploring the wonders of Latin American. America, I mean. Yep. Yep. And here's the tape itself. It has the dark sticker label. And the print date from April 28th, 2000. Next, we got the 1998 VHS of the Santa Claus. Got this last year, January of 2019. Yep, it's destined to become a holiday classic. This is New York Post. It's a side cup of Scott Calvin. And the back says, wonderful, good family fun. This is Jeffrey Lyons of ABC TV. Yep, I also have the 95 VHS that comes in a cardboard case. I'll be showing that when I show all the cardboard cases. And yep, here's the tape itself with the ink label. A little bit of writing in there, but the tape should still work. Print date's October 18th, 1998. I'll need to rewind this. I'm watching it again at Christmas. But we're not done with that yet. Because I have the 2002 special edition VHS of the Santa Claus. It's the original family smash hit. I've had this since December of 2011. Also, have the DVD counterpart, which I got a year later in 2012. The Psych of Scott Calvin. In the back. It's got the same critic review as the 95 and 98 tapes. Oh, yeah. Special bonus. So you want to be an elf in the exclusive Santa Claus 2 sneak peek. 
Yep, this was a former rental from Blockbuster. A little bit of writing on the label, but the tape still works. It's been tested. Tape, the ink label, the blue lead. Print dates, August 12th, 2002 and September 20th, 2002. Yep, this was a former rental from Blockbuster. Yep, before they went out of business. And, yep, <clears throat> we got the 2001 VHS of Santa Who. Got this one back in May of 2015 at Full Circle. All he wants for Christmas is his memory book. It's a psych of Santa. In the back, it says, In the heartwarming and hilarious tradition of the Santa Claus. This is kind of, kind of a spoof of the Santa Claus. Or, or more of a spin-off of the Santa Claus. Tape the ink label. Print date is September 24th, 2001. It's printed on my grandmother's 67th birthday that year. Next, we got two copies of the 97 VHS of Skulls Rock Grammar Rock. Yep, this is the print date copy. I had this one since 2012. February of 2012. It's the side. It's the back. It's the multi Emmy Award winning program that taught the valuable lesson knowledge is power. I'm not going to read off the songs because that's going to be a little bit of a waste of time. It's got promotionals inside this. And here's the tape, the ink label. Print date is July 10th, 1997. So, yep, this is a 97. And here's a little bit of a different printing. It's got the same casing. And, yep, but the only ch it's got the same label, but the only change is it doesn't have a print date. I think these two have the same opening. If I'm not mistaken. And then two copies of America Rock 1997 VHS. There's the print date copy, which I've had since 2012. I remember I had another copy before this one that I had the first 14 years of my life, and that one broke. That's and so I replaced it with this one. Just the side in front of the bill. In the back it says it's got the same thing as on Grammar Rock. And, yep, it's got promotionals that come with it. So tape, the ink label. The print date is June 20th, 1997. So it's printed the first half day of summer that year. All right, put this back into its case. I don't want to ruin the tape. And then here's the little different copy. We got this one last year in 2019, February of 2019. It has the same casing as the printed copy. And, yes, the same label, too. But there's no printing on this tape either. And next we got the 1997 VHS of Skulls Rock Multiplication Rock. I got this tape back in May of 2013 at Salvation Army Thrift Store. It's the sign tip of the zero. There's the back. It's got the same stuff as on the on the last two. And here's the tape itself the ink label the print date is april 24th 2001 so this is a reprint but it is still the same opening as the 1997 vhs i've checked it yep and then it's the 1997 vhs of scrolls rock science rock i've had this since 2014 as well the side care five interplanet janet the back same critic review as on the last, the other three. And yes, this is the tape, the ink label, no print data. Yep, you know, it's, yep, the print date copy is pretty hard to find at thrift stores. But I'm hoping I can find a print date copy soon. Next, we got the 1998 VHS of Schoolhouse Rock Money Rock. I got this tape back in July of 2013. Front sign back same thing as on the last four that I had shown and yes the tape the ink label no print date on this tape either it's got some promotionals inside actually all of them would have had promotionals except for multiplication rock and next we got the shaggy dog probably a 97 tape side you're probably the shaggy dog and here's the back and there's no critic review on the back already got promotional inside here's the tape the ink label print date is 
August 23rd, 1997. So yes, this is a 1997 VHS. Had this for a long time. Had probably, probably a little while. I don't think I ever showed this in my VHS collection videos before. And next we got the Shaggy DA, probably 97 or 98 tape. The side cover of that Shaggy DA. The back, there's no correct review. And here's the tape, the ink label. Print date is August 27, 1997. So actually, this is a 97 VHS. Yep, and they stopped making VHS tapes in 2006. That was almost 14 years ago when they stopped with the VHS production in America. Next, we got Disney's Sing Along Songs Home on the Rain, Angel Little Patch of Heaven. It's got songs from Home on the Range, plus Dance Song Karaoke. Hosted by Maggie the Cow. The front is the side from Maggie the Cow. And the back. Songs are Little Patch of Heaven from... Oh, sorry. From, from Home on the Range. I, I dropped my ball and I'm so sorry about that. And Get a Little from Home on the Range. Pico's Bill from Melody Time. And A Cowboy Needs a Horse from A Cowboy Needs a Horse. And Stanley Rides Again from Stanley's Dinosaur Roundup. And Ain't Time... And you need a friend from Home on the Range. She'll be coming around the mountain. Old MacDonald, The Farmer in the Dale, Home on the Range, and O Susanna. Plus three dance, dance along songs. Got this at Goodwill in Hall, Michigan last year. So tape the ink label. It's got a blue lid and black reels. Yes. Print date is February 20th, 2004. And we're moving on to another tape that's Sleeping Beauty. This is the 86 VHS. I know I'm Action Nation 1980, a.k.a. Kyle had two copies. One of them was not working. One of them does work. Yep. Yep, the one that didn't work was not run. He also got one, that, a third copy, which came with a box set. Yep, I actually got this one back in December of 2013. Originally, I made a classic flap right there. Here's the side. Here's the back. It says... For artistic composition, for superb craftsmanship and design, Sleeping Beauty is a medieval tapestry come to life. This is the Denver Post. Yep. And the tape, the sticker label. Print date is August 1st, 1986. So, yep. This August, this tape will be turning 34 years old. Yep. And, yeah. Not done with that yet because I got the 87 VHS, which I actually got this one last year in September of 2019. It's the same casing, although spine's partially faded. Got a little bit of a different label because it doesn't have, there's no black line right there. The print date's, oh, yep, July, July 27, 1987. Yeah, it's kind of a little mix-up print date. There's no... I would say July 27th, not 67th. I'm going to say just say it's 27, July 27th. And we're still not done with that yet because I got two 1997 VHSs. We got version 1 and version 2. Here's version 1, which I've had this longer since 2012. THX certified. This was the only copy I had when I started, when I first joined YouTube. It's the side of uh, the evil witch and the back. It's... There's an unmatched vision of a world of pageantry, magic, and adventures as the Los Angeles Times. Fully stored limited edition includes approximately 15 minutes of bonus programming and a special commemorative booklet, Sleeping Beauty. Well, this one does have it now. It is inside with all the promotionals. Anyways, tape, the ink label. Print date is June 10th, 1997. And here is version 2. Got this one back in 2014. Yep, same casing. And Oh, wait, no, this is a new copy. I got this in 2018. I got rid of my other copy version. It's the same label. The print date's July 29th, 1997. The tape was released September 16th, 1997. And we're still not done with that, because I have the 2003 Special Edition VHS of Sleeping Beauty. I, I got this one in 2014 as well. Yep, here's the side. The back says, Of all the stirring legends of the 
to triumph of good over evil. None has ever been so inspirational to me as Sleeping Beauty, says Walt Disney. Special features, fully restored and remastered, and all new music video performed by hit -ha, hip hop pop -hop group No Secrets and THX certified. Yep, on the bottom. Yep, it's a yeah, it's THX certified on the front. Promotional's inside of here, too. There's the tape. Dark sticker label and the blue lid. Print date is July 14th, 2003. So, yep, it's a 2003 VHS. Next, got the 2002 VHS of Snow Dogs, but this is a clamshell copy. It's fun for the whole family, says US Weekly. Here's the side. Here's the back. It says action packed and enormously funny and entertaining, says Sun Sentinel. And Delightful family film, warm, charming, and very, very funny. This is KNX CBS Radio. I'll have to watch this to see what I think of it. I, I'm, I'll probably like it. Got promotion, one promotional inside. The tape, the ink label, and the blue lid. Print date is April 7th, 2002. Yep. And moving on, we have Snow White, the Masterpiece Editions. Two versions. We got version one. This is the one with the 86 Walt Disney Home Video logo. I got this one sealed last year, September 2018. Yep, it's the side of Snow White. And the back it says, A landmark in the history of animation, says the New York Times. Oh, yep, promotions are underneath. Here's the tape, ink label. Needs to be round because I watched this earlier this year. Print date's June 18th, 1994. Yep. This has the 86 Walt Disney Home Video Logo because this is version 1. And we went on to version 2, which I've had since July of two, July 13th, 2012. Yep. Same casing. Yep. And the same label. A little bit of writing on there. And it smelled like alcohol for a little bit, but... Well, not the, not the alcohol drink, but, but the alcohol... All swaps, that kind of alcohol. There's, and print dates October 22nd, 1994. Yep, this tape has the Masterpiece logo because it's version 2. And, yep, we're not done with that yet because I have the 2001 Platinum Edition VHS of Snow, Snow Doors. I got this at the same time as version 2 of the 94 VHS of Snow White. And it's T-Check certified. It's a side. It's the back. This is what... Disney's groundbreaking animated feature film, the first of its kind, still in a class by itself, says Leonard Malton. Brilliantly restored with exciting bonus features. All new recording of Someday My Prince Will Come, performed by Barbara Streisand. In commemorative booklet, Disney Through the Decades, a look back into 75 years of Disney history, and which doesn't come with that. Stay of the art, uh, restoration progress, process, I mean, and T-Tech certified, yeah. And, yeah tape the ink label and the blue lid print date is october 5th 2001 i've had this for a long time and we have the 1992 vhs of so dear to my heart next got this back in july 2014 it's one of walt disney's most cherished films starring burl ives it's the side here's the back it says one of Walt Disney's loveliest films, says Leonard Malton, the Disney films. And yeah, here is the tape itself, the ink label. I, I need to rewind it so I can watch the whole tape. The print date is July 29th, 1992. Mm-hmm. And yeah, we're not, we're not done with that yet because I have... Masterpiece editions, one of them is a 95 printing, one is a 96 printing. It's a 1995 printing, I actually got this one. At the Rescue Mission Gateway Store. Had another one, but I sold it. Yep. Here's the side. The back. Same correct view as the 92 VHS. And yes. Has the uh, sticker label. It's a white sticker label. <clears throat> the print date is March 3rd, 1996. So yeah. Yep, and here is ver here's the 96 printing, which this one has the Latin the King of Thieves preview. Also got this at Salvation Army Thrift Store in Holland, Michigan. It's got an ink label. Print is December 8, 
I don't think they'll ever release this on DVD in America. I think it was only released on VHS. And we're moving on next to the 97 VHS, or, 90, or 98 VHS, The Son of Flubber. This is a new copy. I got it sealed. A couple years, about summer 2018. Here's the side. Here's the back. No critic review. These were all before, before Robin Williams' Flubber. And yeah. And here's the tape, the ink label. Print date is November 11, 1997. So, yep, this is a 1997 VHS. Next, we got the sounder. I got this back in September 2016. Heartwarming tale of a young man's courageous journey to find his father. It's a timeless tale of family love and loyalty. This is the Houston Chronicle. Here's the side. Here's the back. It's a simple yet enormously grand. This is San, San Diego of Union Tribune. And this looks like it's 2003. Yep, 2003 VHS. It's got a little, some booklets, a booklet inside. Tape, the uh, ink label and blue lead. Print date is May 16th, 2003. And yeah. Moving on, we have the 1998 VHS Spirit of Mickey. I have two copies. And this is the one with the little, I mean, one, that one Mickey on the top of the spine. So I got, I got this back in December of 2018. Yep, here's the side of Mickey. It's got the older Mickey. The back says, it was all starred by a mouse. This is Walt Disney. Special most park cartoon. Mickey's big screen debut, Steamboat Willie. And yep. Here's it's got some promotion on the side. The tape itself, the ink label. Print date's May 29th, 1998. So it's printed on the Flickr 98's birthday that year. Which he hasn't been making any more videos in a long time. And I don't know why. And here's another copy, but this one actually has Sorcerer Mickey on top. But everything else is the same, though. And the label's the same. Print date's different, June 2nd, 1998. And up next, we have the 2003 VHS Stitch the Movie. Got this probably, yeah, December 2016, I remember. Stitch was experiment, 626 meets the other 625. There's the side, cut file Stitch, and the back, and it says... A charming sequel, Stitch will captivate both young and old, says Jehan Kim of the Chicago Sun-Times. You can see the tape, the ink label, got blue lead, black reels. Print date is September 3rd, 2003. Yep. And next we have the 1998 VHS of Summer Magic. Got this last July in 2018. No, no, no. You know, this is a new copy. Got in October 2018. It's a brand new copy. There's the side. The back. There's no critic review. And, yep, promotional inside. The tape itself. The ink label. Print date's October 11, 1998. The tape is a little bit damaged right over on the edge. But I'm keeping it because it's got really nice promotion. A little, a little booklet inside. Keeping that. Next, we have the 1998 VHS of Summer of the Monkeys. I got this one back in June of 2016. One boy's discovery leads to the adventure of a lifetime. Here's the side, and here's the back. It says, heartwarming adventure in the great Disney tradition of Old Yeller. I actually like the Dark Circle copy better than the ink copy. It's got promotionals inside. I actually got rid of the ink level copy a while Tape the dark sticker label. Print date is November 24th, 1998. It was printed two days before Thanksgiving that year. Which Thanksgiving actually falls on the fourth Thursday of November every year. It's, a, it's an annual thing. Yeah. Uh, I'm putting this away. Yep. Sorry about the door. 
or shouldn't. That was my brother. He left the house. Next, we got Swiss Family Robinson from the 80s. It's an 80s neon make it tape. Here's the side. And here's the back. This says, oh, wait a minute. Wait. Oh, shoot. There's no critic review on this tape. But it's all right. We can deal with it. The tape, the sticker label. Print dates September 9th, 1982. So now we know this is a 1982 VHS. One of the oldest tapes I have in my house right now. Next, we, we're not done that because we got the Swiss, they got, got the Walt Disney Film Classics release of it from 97 or 98. My camera didn't want to focus, you know that. Here's the side, the back, there's no correct view on this one either. And, ah, uh, anyway, the tape, stuff, the ink label. Print date is January 22nd, 1997, so this is actually a 1997 VHS. I still need to rewind it, and we are still not done with that yet, because I have the 2002 or 2003 Vault Disney Collection VHS release of it. The side, here's the back. There's no correct view on this either. It's got bonus, but it does have a bonus feature. Original theatrical animated short, Sea Salt. And yep, the tape, the ink label, and the blue lid's got black reels. Print date's November 1st, 2004, so this is a later, this is a later pressing. Got it in 20, probably 2015. Somewhere around there. Moving on. We have the early 86 VHS and the Sword of the Stone. Got the originally made classic. This one comes into the black clamshell. Here's the side. Here's the back. This is a thorough delight. The songs are bright and singable. The artwork lovely and the plot charming in its twists and turns, says Judith Christ. And Judith Christ, I mean. A warm, wise, and amusing film. The humor sparkles with real knowing sophistication, meaning for all ages, and some of the characters are Disney pips, says the New York Times. I heard this might be considered one of Disney's weaker films, but this is a great film. This... But, but I like Sword in the Stone. I think it's a great movie. Tape, the sticker level. Print date is January 29th, 1986. And yep, this tape is spliced at the beginning. It's because, uh, it was because of all the damage. That's why, that's why I just spliced this tape. This was a former rental from Video Oasis. On the north side of town, which closed. Yeah, listen to the reel. Yeah, it's kind of move, pretty movable, but yeah, it's kind of kind of loud. Yep, I'm keeping this until I can get us get a new copy of this. And not done yet because I have this the late the late '86 printing, which it's got the same casing, the same packaging, the white clamshell, and it's got the same label. But it's got printed June 25th of 87. This is actually, actually, this is an 87 reprint. I forgot about that. And next we have the 88 VHS to the Sword in the Stone. Has the same casing. Got this back in 2015. Alright, it's It's got a little different label. Print date is July, yep, to June 27, 1988 and July 15th, 1988. Yeah, that's a little crack here. We're going to need to get that yeah, but we may have to throw the tape out if we can't get it fixed. And we have two 1989 VHSs of the Sword in the Stone. It's the first one I actually got this one back in August of 2013. Has the original made classic flap. It's the side, care of five warts. In the back, uh, no critic review. Yeah. But anyways, it's a tape. The uh, sticker label. Print date is August 1st, 1991. Yeah. And here's one that I'm keeping in the shrink wrap. This is an unopened copy. And I will leave it in the shrink wrap 
for as long as I own it. Who knows? This could be worth a lot of money. And we're not done, still not done with that because I have the 1991 reprint. Which, yep, has the exact same casing. But it has an ink label. Print date is April 12th, 19, April 14th, 19, I was, I was off by two days. So about that. And we're not, and we are still not done with that yet, because I got six Walt Disney Masterpiece Collection versions. Starting with version one of the 1994 VHS. Got this probably last summer in 2019. I know I was, I was out of high school when I got this. Psych. What? Back it says pure Disney gold. This is New York Times. Yep, it's in nice shape too. The tape itself, the ink label. Print date is August fifteenth, nineteen ninety four. Yep, this uses the eighty six Walt Disney Video logo. And here's version three. I've had this one. This was actually the first one I got. Got got it on. January 12th, 2013, has the same casing and the same label. It's got a print date from May 19th, 1995. This has a, a different set of proofs from the version one. It's got, does have Masterpiece slogan, has proofs for Masterpiece Collection, Brave Little Toaster, and Family Film Collection. And then here's the 95 printing. Got this one about last year 2019 and yeah that probably square tape it's got the same label but a print date from March 8 1996 has the masterpiece logo with the classics jingle no joke and two 96 printings this is the first one I got got in March 2017 it was sealed case has gotten a little bit of bad shape over time but keeping it though I'm keeping both of these actually got the same label but it's got a print date from September 25th 1996 this has they both of these have previous right the king of thieves and here's another copy I got this one sealed I was gonna leave it sealed but the shrink wrap could not stay on any longer so I had to open it and yeah it's the same label but it was printed May 30th, 1996. And the last Masterpiece Edition, was, this is the 1998 Masterpiece Collection VHS. Got this one last, probably July 20th, July 12th, 2018. Or tw oh no, 13th, a day later. Must have been a day off. Here's the tape, got the ink label. Print date is September 28th, 1999. This does have previous in the 1998 VHS. I've checked the opening multiple times. And we are still not done with that yet because I have the 2001 Gold Classic Collection VHS of it. Got this back on October 17th, 2015. It's a side, cup of Arthur. The back, there's no critic view on this. Yep, special bonus features. Got the fully restored original version. Hilarious animated short. Night for a Day starring Goofy and Music Magic, the Sherman Brothers include the deleted song, The Magic Key, never before on video. That's all at the end of the tape. But anyways, here's the tape, the ink label. Print date is February 13th, 2001. It's printed a day before Valentine's Day that year. And I got time for one more tape to show. And that would be the 1996 VHS, A Tall Tale, The Unbelievable Adventure. One of a Kind heroes and once in a lifetime adventure. It's a terrific adventure, says the movie Minute. Here's the side. Here's the back, says Red Blood and Enter Blood and Entertaining, says Roger Ebert of Siskel Ebert and a rousing, rollicking romp, says CBS TV Charlotte. Oh, yep, and I watched this. It's a pretty good movie. And here's the tape itself, the ink label. Print date is February 28th, printed leap before, a day before leap, year that, leap day that year. This tape still has the same previous as the 96 VHS. I've checked the opening. And I will see you in part 10, which should be the last part where I show the clamshells.